Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at question one of five hard questions, part two, which is downloadable from Three Minute Maths. So please do stop the video, have a go at this particular question, and then compare your solution. The key issue with this is we've got a regular hexagon. So if we look at the area of a regular hexagon, which happens to be A, B, C, D, E, F, okay, if I write that in there, that's made up actually of six equilateral triangles. OK, so each of those equilateral triangles we can look at as just being one. And the area of that equilateral triangle is going to be an angle of 60 degrees. If this is X and this is X, it's going to be a half AB sine C. OK, so therefore we can write this as a half multiplied by x, multiplied by x, multiplied by root 3 over 2, which is the sine of 60 degrees. And when we sort all that out and make it look a little bit more presentable, we're going to get that's equal to root 3 over 4 multiplied by x squared. OK, therefore, if we've got six of these, if I can multiply that number by six, I'm going to get a total area for the small hexagon as being equal to 6 root 3 over 4 multiplied by x squared. And that can then simplify to 3 root 3 over 2 x squared. So we've got the first part of the jigsaw. And then really it's a case of saying, well, actually, the larger hexagon has been enlarged by a scale factor. So therefore, the enlarged hexagon, which in this particular case is going to be F, G, H, I, J, K, is now not just the area of the small hexagon, which is 3 root 3 over 2, but now it's going to be enlarged by a scale factor of P, so it's going to be P, X squared. OK, hopefully that's OK for you, that really when we go back to the question, what we're looking at is the larger triangle is enlarged by scale factor P to give the larger hexagon. OK, so we've got our two components now, and then really it's just a case of saying the scaled or the shaded region is going to be the difference between the enlarged hexagon and the smaller hexagon. So effectively what we've got is a shaded amount which is going to be equal to 3 root 3 over 2. Now px squared I'm going to expand, that's going to be p squared x squared and therefore that's going to be minus then the smaller uh, hexagon which is 3 root 3 over 2 x squared. And then if we look back at question, what we need to do is show that it's given by that. So effectively, we're going to factorize. So if we look at um, our shaded region here, if we factorize for 3 root 3 over 2 um, x squared, then that would give us p squared minus 1. And if we want to write it in the same way as the question, that would be 3 root 3 over 2 p squared minus 1 multiplied by x squared. And either of those would be absolutely fine for this particular question. OK, I hope that's been helpful to you. Please do uh, add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. It is quite a challenging question. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. And I look forward to seeing you inside the next video. OK, so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.